Hey everybody, one Weasem here. It is 2.58 a.m. Uh, Thursday, February 26, 2015. I don't know why I was staring at my uh, atomic clock here with all those numbers printed out. But, uh, it's cold, it's snowy, and we have got Bushwhack here on the screen. Uh, I'm actually very excited to upgrade this guy. Legendary Bushwhack, he came out on the 15th along with Nitro Hidrush. Uh, picked up both of those, I've unboxed him. Gonna do Legendary Bushwhack first simply because... We've recently done the legendary upgrades. I've released Jawbreaker. Fine, he's been done forever. I made him live just the other day. Uh, I have fully upgraded Blades, who's also got a legendary. Obviously, Bushwhack is a nice tie-in at that point in time. Then we'll go into uh, Head Rush and Nitro Head Rush, and then that's a nice segue into Wallop. And at that point in time, I'll get back to uh, something I've wanted to do for a long time as well: uh, Elite trigger happy and elite whirlwind uh, he's got a great idle animation there bushwhack if you did not know that said he's wearing a hat um can't remember where he came from but i do sometimes put them on. uh the main thing though and this may influence what some of you do legendary bushwhack has pretty nice statistical boosts unlike nitro head rush now uh most notably health uh, 290 versus 300, legendary plus 10. Uh, the thing I'm the most happy about, Bushwhack has an armor at 18, and legendary Bushwhack is at 30, so that's a plus 12 increase for legendary Bushwhack. And of course, you might factor that in if you have both Bushwhacks or you're a big fan, uh, getting one of each to take both paths, etc. And then critical hit is plus 20 for legendary bushwhack so uh, that again depending on what you want to do how you want to set your characters up your personal play style all that comes into play but what they will have the same is the attack damage numbers here so uh, primary attack is of course the trapped hanium axe it's a simple primary hit you get 70 critical on that is 105 you might be able to see it I don't know that's one of those numbers is there we go uh, now he does have a combo off of that it's one of those deals I need to like start back here because he covers some pretty good ground with it. So uh, here on the X bone, it's XXX, and as you can see, he kind of just does a jump slam, and it's a 101. The problem there, and this is what I ran into with Blades. Blades had the really cool jump in the air, and then the tail Your slam thing. You, I never once Talk in all Blades. my time, even with legendary Blades, have seen a critical hit number from that. Uh, I don't know how long I'd have to sit here and do this, and I'm just simply not going to do it. Uh, the reason. And I can't, I can estimate it for you. Uh, half of 101 would be 50.5, and you think, okay, well, that's 51, so it would be 152 in that case. No, sometimes when they have fractional, you know, decimal numbers halfway there, round up at 0.5, they stay down, and then other times they round up. So I can tell you it's either going to be like, you know, 151 or 152, but I'm just putting 101 to CH in the spreadsheet is what I entered. So, uh, which I also note now on Mystic Acorn is going to do 12 to 18, but Excel likes to make that the 18th of December, so I physically have to type TO. Uh, 12 to 18 there, and there we go. Uh, let's see what is. I don't know if the jump slam will be the same thing. Let's see. Uh, this is his jump. It's important to note uh, that they do have the jump slam abilities. I think he can chuck the acorn. Yes. So it's still 12 to 18, but hey, if you're really aggressive or, you know, want to, you know, do something cool in front of your friends, just do the mystic acorn, which is a toss, as you can see there. Note that he gets criticals every time. Uh, he was tossing it. But if you want to look like super cool, you know, and aggressive, or save your friend, just run in, jump, and then throw it. Because you can do that too. Uh, similar to that, we should be able to jump and slam the axe down. Uh, let's see what that does. Oh, 140, so that's actually better than the combo. Uh, that should be a 210 on that. I'm comfortable saying that. I feel like I need to sometimes add a slot for that. Um, let me just jump slam 140 to 210. We'll have to remember to check that with each successive upgrade we get. But uh, yeah, I think we're ready for the base upgrades now. I have 13 wing sapphires, so my prices are funky, but hey, what can you do? Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started here with this tertiary attack for 370. It is called Head Bash. We're going to press Y for a powerful Head Bash uh, move, damaging anything nearby. So. It's kind of weird, I think he and Headrush both gonna have that same head bash vibe. Really. 
I guess it makes sense. He's got horns. I mean, keep in mind the dorky cactus hat shouldn't be there. Uh, so I, I could see him having that. Uh, just look down there in the lower left-hand corner. He kind of has like the acorn hat, natural, you know, like part of his costume or get-up. Uh, tire, I guess. <laughs> and uh, a tire, A-T-T-I-R-E, not a tire. And, uh, you know, if, with the horns there, it makes sense. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, okay, I was thinking it would be like a charge attack, but it is literally... And I am not jumping and doing that, I'm just tapping the Y button and he is doing that, so... 75, that's pretty good. Uh, so what would the critical on that be? It's one of those things, I can tell you, it's 37 and a half, but what do they do to they make that... Okay, 112, hallelujah. <laughs> Alright, so head bash is 75 to 112. Something interesting here I noted. Uh, like I said, I'm not jumping, I'm just pressing Y. If I actually do jump with the A button and then press Y, he doesn't execute the move, which is strange since you would think you would just like eliminate part of it. Or maybe you could like control where you land more type situation. But uh, it is what it is. Alright, so uh, off we go. <laughs> We're gonna move on to I think, Nut Grenade. Yeah, Nut Grenade. Acorns. Oh my gosh. Do I not have his soldier? Well, I guess it doesn't matter right now. I'm gonna have to go get that thing. Oh. Uh, I thought that was in one of the early chat. I must have it in the Wii version or some Wii U version. Uh, that's that's great. Anyway, uh, it doesn't matter now. This is the base upgrade video. This is a great time for me to tell you. Three videos here. You've got the base upgrades. Uh, if you go down, you take that link to my site or the Skylander Club forum. You can actually go in. You'll see the attack damage spreadsheet. And you'll see Bushwhack probably go down Axe Avenger, and then you can see Legendary Bushwhack go down Armor Awesomeness. Not sure that's what I'll do, but I mean, you get the general idea. I break it into three separate videos, so luckily the Soul Gym is an issue, but not a huge one right now. Uh, Nut Grenade is the attack. Acorns now explode on impact, doing more damage. I really like the acorns. I don't know why, but the fact that they explode makes me like them even more. Uh, I should have shown you the range on those bad boys. Okay, so wow. Uh, it looks like he's carrying around, like, acidic acorns now, or acid bombs or something. Uh, where the acorns used to just kind of look like what you'd see on an oak tree, uh, they've now got that, like, wicked nuclear look, which, uh, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and chuck one of these things. Whoops. That's the Nintendo button for it. So, <laughs> 20. I'll take that. So we should have 30 on the critic. There we go. Now, the important thing here is check out the range on these. He just locks and loads on that. I can actually, standing about here, if we can get him to connect, he wants to hook on with the first guy. There we go. So, I mean, he's got really good range with those. And, of course, you can still be the epic rock star, you know, and, like, come in and we'll make a theatrical deal for you. Here comes Bushwhack. He saved you from dying by running in and throwing an acorn. So, pretty cool deal. I really like the aesthetics, I think, more than the increase in damage. In all honesty, that's one of those deals that just could have made the acorns look like that, and I would have been happy, uh, even though they still did 12 to 18. So, uh, yes, we are, Persephone. Yes, we are. All right, in a nutshell, get some new armor taking reduced damage. This is cool. Uh, price there is going to be 666. Um... You'll have to take my word for it that he's at 18. Uh, I don't know, maybe that hat added a little bit. We should be able to differentiate it, but uh, I guess it's not a huge deal. I mean, if you don't believe me, you can look at your own bushwhack or something. Alright, so... Nothing huge. Most people hate these stuff. I, I absolutely love this. This takes me back to the glory days of SSA where characters and their base upgrades had armor or speed and it was freaking fantastic. Uh, here recently, particularly with Swap Force, critical hit uh, kind of got in the mix more than armor and speed, and the critical hit increases never really register with me. You know, like I can sit there and I can get the plus 12 critical hit for whatever character, Star Strike or whoever, and then I still never really see it. And I'll come in here and I spend hours with you people, you know, and we'll just attack, 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 and I'm like, it's still not doing critical hits, <laughs> you know. And, uh, I don't know, I just, I prefer armor and speed, so this is going to be very much appreciated. I should have paid closer attention to him, he's very, like, blendy in character. 
uh, he's he's pronounced and sticks out well, but I mean he just kind of blends with the landscape somehow. So uh, he could have changed aesthetically a little, but he looks, in all honesty, a lot like I remember him. Looks like I'm a natural. Uh, there's a really good look at him. Though it's cool there, they updated the acorns too. So uh, props there, whoever came up with that. Anyway, stats is what we're all about. What? We did buy that, didn't we? Get some new armor, taking reduced... Well, that sucks. Now, that's the type of thing that ticks me off. So this is called the Hedgehog Hat. It's plus two speed, plus two elemental power. But we just got armor, and we're still at 18. So I'll put new armor, still at 18. I mean, that's lame. You know, give us something. I don't even care if it's six and takes us to 24 or something. You know, uh, which I'm sure it works in the game. You know, if we had enemies here, showing signs <clears throat> of growth. You know, say we had like a jawbreaker throwing down 201s on or 200s on. It's a nightmare mode. It might nerf it down to like a 160 or something. But I expected like you know have 18 turn to 24 or 30 or something cool. So. That's really nice, but it's kind of, it's kind of like a buzzkill. Uh, really. Ready for so. another magical upgrade? Yes, we are. All right, so now we have got Thorn Trail. Traptanium Axe Attack now leaves a trail of thorn that damages enemies. This should be pretty cool for 888 with our discount. Uh, right here, Axe Avenger or Armor Awesomeness. You will have to wait and see. I think I know what I'm doing, but I'm not sure. And whatever we do will be how we Over kick off the next video. So the axe looks roughly the same. Might have a little bit more of an aura to it. Uh, we were doing 70 to 105 with it. Uh, let's see what we're doing now. Okay, that's that's cool. So we're doing the exact same damage, but let's see what we can do. Okay, so four. All right, thorn trail. Should be 70 to 105 still, and then 4x 20 to 30 from Thorn Trail. I'm putting that in there just for reference points uh, for when I do the write up on it. <laughs> now it's a little redundant, but uh, I honestly I thought it would be something kind of uh, I don't know, stink bombish, where maybe you like had to actually physically or trap shadow, you know, type thing where you have to move away. Uh, it looks really cool, and there was our first 30 on it, that's the truth of it, but uh, there's another the one, so you at least know it's accurate. Um, I don't know, that's not what I expected, but it's actually better than what I expected. I was picturing like a literal trail where I would hit it, and then if I ran, uh, you know, we'd like have the trail behind us and enemies could run through it, but what it does, basically in the path of the axe, it does that, so that's pretty cool. Um, okay, the head bash doesn't get thorns. Let's see if the combo should still be the one. Yeah, so that's still 101. You get that, I guess, the right after the first axe. Let's see if you get two rounds of that. I think you kind of do. It might overlap a little bit, but I think you kind of get like. Mm, maybe around six to eight hits when you do the combo. Uh, it theoretically should be eight, but I didn't really count that many. There's that cool animation he does. Uh, now the last thing we need to check is the jump slams. So let's do that. Uh, interestingly enough, there actually is a thorn trail. Uh, it's just in the air, which looks awesome. Uh, we got it to hit one time. Let's see here. Those are two teams. Who's taking that damage? Huh, it had like Your next challenge awaits you, oh. monster. Talk to Flynn. This is weird. Or it's like making the damage sound. It's not sure. I don't know what's going on. If like there's just the thorns from our axe doing that, or it's it's only when we jump and like under uppercut the guy. Um, I think the jump slam does actually do the thorn trail. It's just, uh, it's hard to register. I think once or twice we had a 20 register, so uh, I guess that's not worth documenting, but I mean, in theory, I guess if you had, like, some Archean...
helicopter bot and jumped up, and then they flew into the path, they might, you know, uh, run into it or something. So, uh, anyway, that is Bushwhack. Those are his base upgrades. I, I'm very interested to see how his paths go. Uh, he's kind of one of the ones I've been more excited about here recently now. Um, a little disappointed in In a Nutshell, because I thought it would be like a, you know, measurable gain. 18 on the armor rating to 24 or 30 or whatever it might have been but uh, hopefully in game that comes through uh, so far so good though because I mean I know that will register during gameplay it's just kind of sad I can't like be wow plus 12 or 30 you know that means legendary will be 42 and get all super excited for you but <laughs> so, uh, I think I will take Axe Avenger for Bushwhack it just to seems to suit him better and then uh, armor awesomeness we'll let legendary have and we'll just like stack the armor there so uh, that said I guess I better go get a soul gem it looks pretty cool <laughs> it reminds me uh, of uh, villager uh, in smash bros so uh, it should be fun to see but that's about it this, this is base upgrades again take that link at the bottom it'll take you to my post where you will see my basically comprehensive analysis of all things bushwhack uh, well actually I'll tie it in on my side you'll have the unboxing his intro everything uh, you'll have the attack damage numbers you'll see both paths uh, whichever route I take with them and of course by the time we do that I will have a soul gym which I guess I'm gonna have to go get now so uh, something I didn't plan to do at 315 in the morning was hunt down a soul gym but uh, we'll we'll go ahead and do that I guess so uh, what we missed in chapter 3 will be recorded shortly uh, as always thanks for watching if you have not subscribed make sure you do that you can follow me on twitch where I will be live streaming Skylanders Trap Team you can follow me on twitter like me on facebook circle me on google plus whichever you prefer personal site is one of weasom.com if you're big time into Skylanders amiibo uh, minecraft gaming in general if you want to kind of interact more with me be sure to check out the Skylander Club forum you can find it at skylanderclub.com check it out if you like what you see there sign up we would love to have you that said for myself and Bushwhack we will catch Your you back here in just a few seconds